Hello there my friends. In today's video we are not doing a classic puzzle. This is more of a Rook Endgame theory lesson I would say. This position is composed by the famous chess player and the world champion for many years, Emanuel Lasker. And the uh, mission here is for White to find the right idea on how to win this. You see here, our pawn is one step away from promotion, and so is Black's pawn. So, <clears throat> positions like this are normally a draw, but there is an idea for White on how to play to end this with a win. And the question is, of course, for you to find this idea. So I should uh, tell you to do as you always do now. Pause this video, look at this position, and see if you can find out how white will win this in the end. Go ahead. OK, <clears throat> welcome back. So well, of course, we want to get this uh, promoted, uh, but we cannot stop the uh, control over this pawn, so we need to do something else. We have to work with our king here first. And this is also why I say it's not a traditional puzzle or a study, because you can actually start with two different moves. You need to move the king closer to your pawn. You can go to b8 or b7, it doesn't matter. So let's do this. What are we threatening now? Well, we are, of course, threatening to promote here and uh, support this with our king. Black cannot allow this, so he will check on b2 with a tempo move. And now we have some different uh, ideas. But the idea is now to really force this king back. So white's best win here is to play king a7. So what did we achieve with this? Well, we got our king from a8 to a7. The rook comes back to stop the promotion once again. But now we can do a little middle move. We throw in, before we do anything else, we throw in a check here. So we force the king back, of course. And obviously it cannot go to b4, because then we can go again to b7, and black is out of checks. See, he has to uh, sacrifice his rook here, and it's an easy win. Black will instead go to a4. And what did we achieve with this? Well, you will get the idea soon if you haven't figured it out already. Now, again, we are controlling this, threatening once again the rook, the, the pawn to come to c8 with a check. Again, black will have to stop this. And now, look at this. We gained another step forward to a6. The rook comes back to c2 check once again. Not check, I mean to c2 with uh, a threat on c7. And once again, we can have a middle check on h4. Forcing the king back again. And we know he cannot go to b3. He cannot stop, block the b file. So it goes to a and now again we move our king closer to the pawn now if the rook comes back here we will have another go another step forward rook comes back another check the king comes back again and voila we sacrifice our rook, we take his pawn, we pin his rook, force him to take our rook, and then we promote to a queen. And we win this with a queen versus a rook. And this is <clears throat> not for everybody easy win, but it is uh, theoretically pretty easy with a queen against a rook. If you're having problem to s problems to find out how you win this, I will give you a link to a video I made about this exact same situation. How to win with a queen versus a rook. But let's uh, go back a little bit here. When we went with our king to b6, we looked at 
rook b2. He doesn't have to play that. I mean, he is still stopping the uh, c8 promotion. So what if he tries something else? Well, he cannot move his rook really anywhere. If he moves it uh, up or down, I would say, uh, like this, then we simply take the pawn. And if he moves sideways, we already looked at b2. If he moves some somewhere else, well, then we promote. So black has to move the king. If it goes down straight away, well, then we know what happens. We're going to sacrifice our rook here and win. So the only other move is king b3. And what will we do then to win this? Well, now we forced him back to the b file. And we told you he's not able to block this one. Then it's simple for us. Now we can go up to b7 with our king. And the next move will be a promotion and a win of his rook and a win of the game. So <clears throat> that is the end of this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new or at least have some entertainment for a while. Have a great day. Thank you for watching this. Bye bye.